You ever hold your phone wondering the same thing? Hold your phone to your head and wonder, am I getting any radiation? I know some people actually place their phones inside <laughs> inside of their chest, inside their bras. You we keep it in our pockets. And have you ever wondered before when it's sitting right by your desk or right by you, is it emitting radiation? Well, the iPhones are emitting radiation a lot of the time. So right now, the some iPhone models are actually going to get banned in France because France has a limit, <laughs> unlike the US, I don't know what limits we have for us, but France has a particular limit where they don't want certain amounts of radiation of two of, I don't remember what the actual value is for every 10 grams of skin. So if you hold it up to your head, for example, there's a certain amount of radiation that would be emitted and there has to be a limit. But what <clears throat> France ended up doing was comparing what the radiation ratio would be when held when the iPhone was held in the hand. And what they found was that when the iPhone 12 was held in the hand, it actually emitted more radiation than what their limits are. So now they're banning it in France. And iPhone 12 is going to be releasing an update, supposedly, that will stop that radiation. And then it makes you wonder, you know, what kind of control, how exactly is it emitting radiation? Um, it said that they're going to release a software update that's going to change the intervals of how much radiation is actually exposed. Probably what it is is that every time the iPhone is pinging towers or accessing some wireless signals, it's emitting some radiation. So if they reduce those inter intervals, it'll actually, you know, reduce the amount of radiation. Now, in the U.S., is there that that sort of limit? I have no idea. And as of now, it's only iPhone 12 that have this issue and France is who is complaining about this. So that's going to be updated. The next big story, I think, um, today news is Google. If you ever wondered, right, like, you know, when you open up Google and you check their account history, not the account, you open up your Google account and you find settings, right? This says location history, web history, and you're like, turn it on, turn it off, thinking, you know what? I don't want no one knowing my history, <laughs> you know, especially if you say you, you know, at your workplace email, Say you just don't want the history there. I mean, you may not be able to control that, but even your own history. So you thought that you have power, but apparently California has sued Google, proving that Google is actually accessing and storing people's location history, even though they've had it turned off. And this boggles my brain how that's possible. And they're going to be paying $93 million. Now, you all know we're a multi-billion dollar you know, company like Apple, 93 million seems negligent to a company that is actually storing or doing the opposite of what the setting it's giving you, telling you to take control of. You know, I want you not to take my location and Google is actually storing the location. I mean, it seems pretty blatant. And so if they end up being fined $93 million and being and they're going to be paying $93 million. But what that goes to say is, well, what happens next year? What happens? Are they just going to be not following the whatever protocols? And then if someone discovers that there is a lie somewhere, then they're going to be sued and pay money. And if Google can afford it, I mean, that's fine. But what if we just don't want them to be committing this sort of you know, activity against us users. So it actually boggles my brain as to that. Maybe if they were to find them more, or maybe if they were to sort of have a more, something that would really hurt them, like maybe limit them in a marketplace somehow, some way, uh, that'll stop them from doing this. But it seems like money's not a factor for them. Similarly, the next big story, um, and the last one I have for you today is TikTok. TikTok is going to be fined $345 million as well, more than what they're finding Google, which is also a little bit strange. Now, what this story says is that, you know, if you have a you know, son or daughter or if you know, um, you know, a niece or nephew who signed up for TikTok, they're under 16, um, 16 and under like teens. And the default setting, apparently, I don't know because I don't I haven't subscribed or we created TikTok under 16, but apparently they're being sued for the fact that whenever a 16 year old or a teen, a child creates a TikTok account, the default is is set to public. So basically, if your child or a if a 13 year old goes on there and tries to make an account, 
then by default, their setting is public. I mean, you know, I, I guess, you know, there's debate here as to like, well, if the, the teenagers kind of know what they're doing, but I guess in one sense, they want to protect children, right? And not have them make these sort of decisions that if a young girl is putting up, you know, saying, I'm going to go, you know, I'll just leave it public by default. And we all know people will do things uh, based on whatever the default setting is, right? So what the, the union is saying that they need to have it set to private and tiktok not have it private now tiktok's counter argument is that apparently i don't know how to verify this but apparently tiktok is saying they're going to pay the fine 345 million dollars but the investigation started they apparently have updated those so at one point in time it was set to public by default but apparently they're saying three years even prior to the investigation they had already changed the setting to private by default um, and how could they be sued? And, and it's, it's sort of annoying, but they're willingly paying $345 million. And these big tech companies like Google and and TikTok willing to pay these hundreds of millions of dollars in fines shows you how much money they're making that maybe they need to hit them where it hurts. Um, that's been your tech news update. Let me know what you think about the Google fine, the TikTok fine, and the iPhone radiation. I'll see you guys in the next one.